commentary on that as well. Now, hundreds of thousands of Pakistani flood survivors, as we've been reporting this morning, have yet to receive any aid at all, according to the United Nations. The UN says six million people are in need of urgent assistance and many more face the risk of disease if safe drinking water, food and shelter are not quickly delivered. Naomi Steer is the director of the UNHCR in Australia and she joins us now in Sydney. Naomi Steer, good morning. Good morning. How desperate is the situation on the ground in Pakistan? Well, what I'm hearing from my colleagues, uh, Michael, is that uh, now many millions of people are displaced uh, and um, the, the, there's very significant needs in terms of shelter, food, health services. Um, and, it, and it's really a very desperate situation uh, at the moment in Pakistan. And there's a, a struggle to actually get any aid that is coming in centrally to Pakistan through to the areas that need it the most, I understand. Look, it's been very difficult up to this point. The UN Refugee Agency, who uh, we, we support, uh, has been uh, operational in the uh, northwest of Pakistan for, for many years, and that's a very mountainous region. Last uh, last uh, week, uh, the, it was described as, as one big lake, um, and it was very hard to get our trucks and convoys in because of landslides, bridges have collapsed, uh, there are no roads. But the rains have subsided in that area and the convoy started going through this week and we were also able to get airdrops, uh, which uh, was very encouraging uh, for, for the UN Refugee Agency. How big a problem is what charities around the world are calling Pakistan's image deficit in terms of uh, world governments uh, being a bit reluctant to send any money to Pakistan lest it hand, ends up in the wrong hands? Look, look. I, I think there are a number of, of, of factors affecting um, giving and, and donations. That may well be one. But I, I think, you know, one of the uh, big issues is that people just simply haven't appreciated the scale of this disaster. Uh, it started two weeks ago as a flood in one part of Pakistan as the uh, first wave uh, has gone down the Indus River, causing massive uh, destruction. We're really only now getting a, a, a picture of of what's actually happened and, and what are the needs uh, on the ground there now. But uh, would, would concerns be justified about uh, corruption in Pakistan and any money that uh, people or governments might send not getting through to those victims on the ground? Look, it's one of the big issues that, that donors always say to me, Michael, you know, can, can we be sure that, that what we're giving actually gets through? And that's not just for, for Pakistan, it's in any, any emergency situation. But, but clearly in this situation, what's being provided both through, through the UN Refugee Agency and its shelter program, which is tents and plastic sheets, it's very practical support to, to people very much in need. So it's in-kind support. You know, you know, there are a number of uh, agencies providing health kits, uh, malaria kits, uh, kitchen sets, cooking facilities. So very basic things, but very practical things and life-saving support. And OK, Naomi, Steer, for the viewers watching, uh, wanting to donate to Pakistan, how can they practically go about it? Well, well, to find out how you can support the UN Refugee and, and its distribution of shelter, please go to our website, unrefugees.org.au, or the National Australia Bank is now accepting donations on our behalf to our emergency appeal for Pakistan. Naomi, Steer, from the UNHCR, thanks for your time this morning. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. And Paul Kennedy's back with all the sport headlines.